Job cost sheets include each except A. The direct labor costs B. Customer name C. Advertising costs for a job D. The overhead costs E. The direct materials costs Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Job cost sheets include each except. Now what is a job cost sheet? That's going to be the sheets that support the work in process or the finished goods account uh, in terms of the jobs we're working on, kind of like the inventory items that we're working on if we're, if we're manufacturing inventory or the job we're working on if it's a service company. And they typically, if we're making inventory, include the details of the cost of the job. And any inventory we make, remember, has three details, direct materials, labor, direct labor, and overhead. So those are probably going to be on the job sheet. So if we go through these, we're going to say the direct labor costs. That's probably on the job sheet. So, so direct labor, hot. that's not it because it's on the job sheet. B says customer name, uh, probably, but, uh, you know, we'll keep that for now. C says advertising costs for a job. Uh, you know, it's a kind of a cost. It, notice it's saying for a job here. We like we advertise a particular job. So I'll keep that for now. And then D says the overhead costs. And that's going to be on the job cost sheet, we would think. And then E says the direct materials costs. That looks sounds reasonable. So I think that's on there. And that's not it. So because those are our main three. Direct materials, labor, uh, direct labor, and overhead. So we're left with B and C. So if we go through this again. Job cost sheets include each except B, customer name, or C, advertising costs for a job. Now, of the two, I would think that B would be included. We, we need to know, you know, who's the customer related to the job because we're going to eventually have to assign that, track that, and bill them. So I think B is, is going to be in the job cost sheet. We're going to have to know that somehow at least. And then C, advertising costs for the job. It's kind of tricky because they're, they're applying it to the job and not just saying it's general advertisement. But the advertising, whether it be applied to a particular job or not, is not um, part of production. Meaning it's not, the job cost sheets are tracking inventory, the cost of inventory. And advertising is a general and administrative cost. It's not part of inventory. So we're not going to include advertising typically in the cost of the inventory because it's not something that converts the raw material to finished goods it helps us to convert a sale once the inventory has been produced so the final answer is c let's go through the final answer job cost sheets include each except c advertising costs for a job next question which industry would use a job costing system a a general contractor b fruit punch production <laughs> c yogurt d seeds for planting e small gardening tools so let's go through this again using the process of elimination which industry would use a job costing system now when we think about this we're always thinking about this in terms of what the other costing system is which is a process costing system and the major differentiation between the two typically will be that the job cost system will have differentiation in inventory whereas the process cost system will typically be all the same. Therefore, job costs, we track costs by job. Process costs, we track costs by process because of that differentiation in inventory versus sameness in inventory. So if we go through these then, uh, A, a general contractor. Uh, a general contractor uh, possibly has different jobs you know, that they work on. So I would think that might be a job cost system. Uh, fruit punch, 